Hello people, if somebody asks you what Herbert pits are, see Herbert pits you will see in trachoma in the eye. So here you can see the cornea, here you can see the conjunctiva. In between what do you have? The limbal conjunctiva, right? Uh, so the limbus uh, here, what you can see is uh, some, can you see some pits kind of thing? These are called as Herbert pits. It happens in cicatricial trachoma. Means what? So basically trachoma is conjunctivitis that is caused because of uh, what? It is caused because of chlamydia trachomatis, uh, serotype ABC, right? So, uh, here, what else do you know about it? It is caused by chlamydia trachomatis. It is a leading cause of uh, preventable uh, blindness. This is then infective cause, okay? And earlier, it was called as Egyptian ophthalmia. Here, what and all you have? In clinical features, you have active trachoma, where you can see how it looks here. The follicula, follicles, 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 right? You, you'll have the follicles. Okay. So, the follicles that you saw, though they were on the palpebral conjunctiva, on the limbal conjunctiva or you can say almost on the cornea, like peripheral part, on the limbus area, you will have Herbert follicles. Herbert follicles are histologically similar to what conjunctival follicles you saw. So, herbal follicles which you are seeing here, these Herbert follicles, in the cicatricial stage of trachoma, they become Herbert pits. That's what you came here to learn, right? So, look at this. Um, here you have uh, Herbert follicles which they have marked here. Right? Can you see Herbert follicle? Where were the dots that you can see here? These dots, uh, this follicles itself, then later become pits. Okay. Here you can see the pits. There are black dots here at the limbus. Right. So what is what are Herbert pits? Oval, circular, pitted scars left after healing of Herbert follicles in the limbal area is the Herbert pit. So this healed Herbert follicle leaves a pitted scar. How unfortunate, right? Pitted scar it is leaving oval or circular it can be and that will be called as Herbert pit. Okay. Then this is the trachomatis Herbert pits. Let's see what else we know about this. So there is a WHO classification for trachoma, fisto, that is uh, inflammation, follicular, intense, scarring, trichiasis, opacity. Okay. Where are we? We saw only two stages, active and cicatricial, right? Cicatricial is where there will be scarring, pitting, uh, pit, right? Follicles is where you saw the Herbert follicles. So, probably we can map this like this. So, follicular, then uh, intense is there. Intense and then only scarring. Trichiasis, corneal opacity. So, corneal opacity means what will happen? The person's vision will get affected, right? So, the only complication of trachoma is corneal ulcer. So, how will you diagnose this, guys? You will uh, detect the, you, you can do the conjunctival cytology, you can do. Right, uh, you can check for inclusion bodies. What are those called as HP bodies or something, right? What are those called as? Hova Provazaki, is it? Halber Steder Provazak bodies. So these are the inclusion bodies. Hab Halber Steder Provazak bodies. Say this word. Say this word. Trachoma. Intracytoplasmic inclusion bodies. Called HP bodies. Halber Steder Provazak bodies. Trachoma. Were you able to hear that, guys? Okay. Let's look at this intracytoplasmic inclusion bodies. These are right. Look at this. So here, if you can see the conjunctival epithelial cell inside the cytoplasm, you have cytoplasmic inclusion body. Okay. So this is the Halber Stader Provazak bodies, which you can detect, right? Also, there are some other unique cells, right? In um, um, trachoma, you have called this. Uh, you have something called as Leber cell. Very important in the following. These are macrophages that eat up all the debris or something. These are large multinucleated. Look at this. They have drawn here. Here you can see some two zones. They are saying these are the Leber cells. Okay. Leber cells you should be able to see here. Multinucleate giant cells, right? So what are Leber cells that you should be able to detect? Leber cells <clears throat> are macrophages that have ingested debris. Okay. Large multinucleated cells. Other than this, what and all uh, you can do? You can do ELISA, PCR. You can isolate the chlamydia in yolk sac of the egg. So, you know an egg, right? You take a, a hen egg or a duck egg and you can uh, you can isolate this chlamydia in the yolk sac. You can do serotyping of the trachoma inclusion conjunctivitis uh, agents. TRIC agents. TRIC means trachoma and inclusion conjunctivitis agents. Inclusion, inclusion conjunctivitis is caused by whom? Do you know? Wait. See here. Inclusion conjunctivitis is because of <clears throat> the serotypes D, K, D to K. D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. 
differential you you, sh uh, you should be able to differentiate trachoma from other things if it is follicular uh, hypertrophy or papillary hypertrophy so if it is follicular you differentiate it from adenoviral follicular conjunctivitis etc if it is the papillary kind you'll have to differentiate it from vernal keratoconjunctivitis trinketar how will you treat trachoma guys give tetracycline and remember azithromycin even in blanket therapy they will give tetracycline and azithromycin mass they will give to everybody on earth i mean that population who is affected safe strategy is to prevent prevent trachoma guys uh, so environmental change facial hygiene antibiotic use surgery right 